There you are, my brave knight. Now, for situations like this, I would, I would like the skip button, for you for so long. and you will be able to skip. Um, Why did you in new game lines, plots? Yeah, in new game plots. Yeah. We want you to experience the voice acting. It's. I understand that some people just want to skip through because they read faster, than, um, than, what the voice acting does. But it's not a, it's not a line to read through, and jump. It's uh, the game sort of wants you to slow down and to to go at it from a, from a different angle. That it's not just what information can I extract from this sentence, but is that a human? You know, you wouldn't interrupt a human or a movie or a movie. You wouldn't skip through the movie. It's there's a lot of uh, you know uh, information in how the how the line is delivered. But then again. And I think most people are fine with that, but on replaying, you know, you've seen it already, yeah, so yeah, you yeah. should be able to skip. Yeah. I, I completely I agree. So which part who the are fuck you? are you? <laughs> and who are you? Brave yeah, they're doing quite, you know. Great conversation start. <laughs> now, you'll get a different. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my name is Cormo. Cormo. <laughs> yeah. But that's not your name, is it? You can't know that. You remind me right. of someone. A sailor. A harsh man. Had a way Thank you, Dragon Vet B. And um yeah, have a good night. Have a good evening. Anyone. Thank you for being here. Rings a bell. <laughs> so yeah, here we found out that Cormo apparently is not his real name. Another nugget. Storytelling nugget, which you could have completely missed, and it changes your perspective. It's like a tiny thing, but it completely changes your perspective. That Cormo has lied to you, in a way. I know who she's talking about. Or did she already say that? No, yeah, she hasn't. No, she has, she has already. So oh. here she says, you remind me of someone, a sailor, he's rash, or he's a bit, you know... He's a buffoon. He's a withdrawn, he's a buffoon, or, you know, always so forward, or she says... uh Never listen to anyone. Yeah, uh, never listen to it. So depending on how you played, whether you were manipulative, direct, we have uh, three pairs of stats in the game. So six stats. It's empathetic, cruel, manipulative, direct, and um, sincere. sincere and insincere. So they are in direct opposition of each other, and you can have a combination of these. And the game reacts to that. In a, Again, people say... Or the feedback was, I don't feel, I don't really, like, I like the story, like the art, like everything, but I don't feel like my choices matter. Uh, or I don't know how my choices matter. This was uh, a design choice. For the demo. For not so great, uh, you know, but mistakes are made. We definitely are going to make it more transparent as we play, or as we, as we develop, develop the game. All right, I know who she's talking about, or... Sounds like me. Sounds like me. Is that supposed to be me? No, I really was thinking of someone else. And how would I know what you're supposed to be? Here, we can be whatever we want to be. You're dreaming, brave knight. All men dream of women. Don't worry, there's nothing weird about it. I'm happy to play the role you So it's pointed to out to me that not all men crazy. dream of women. Oh yeah. Do I yeah. Remind <laughs> you of someone? Now, this is Cormo's dream, and there is um, homosexuality is one of the themes that gets brought up in the game directly. And but this is Cormo's dream, and so he would not think of that. It would not cross his mind. Remind me of my sister. Let's go with that, since it was sister. No, we we did get that the first time, so we're going to have a different route, which you perhaps did not click because it is quite. So far, we've seen one. sort of one playthrough, biggest yep. option. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. just to show you where we can go in the game and where the character can go. So, if we think, wow, this is a. Uh, you know, she, she's not really. I mean, she puts on a beautiful face, but I don't quite trust her. And uh, in fact, she seems to know a lot about me, she seems to know a lot about other men. We can choose this option. You're here. 
Are you here for other men as well? No. Darling Anna, Shayati knows who else. No, I mean, we just talk. Just talk? Don't make me laugh, you bitch. I can see their semen dripping on your legs. Their breaths carried on your skin. Nothing but a filth-crusted whore. A rag for men rotten to your core. <sighs> Who are you describing, Brave Knight? You feel strongly about her. You must have known her well. But rest assured, Brave Knight, your words betray your pain. And I won't leave you, give you away, like she has. She is not I. My name is Dahlia, and I'm here for you when you need me, Brave Knight. And there you see, she basically pointed out that he's projecting, right? That he's projecting his uh, experiences of whoever it is that, you know, she reminds him of, whether that's his sister or his mother. He projects them on her. And we... <laughs> and, and what happens is she then tells him, instead of, you know, chastising him for this, she tells him that she is not going to leave him and she is there for him which clearly was not his experience with women and so i find that yeah i i, I like that beat honestly i'm you know we we cut things all the time you know a lot of things are making it into the game but i think this one is good <laughs> yeah uh yeah a lot of people maybe don't don't pick it but it, it is an interesting one because you find out quite a lot it's not just you know insult her it's uh it speaks volumes about him that he would say this and then what's said back is, um, you know, it's a bit, it's pathetic, yeah, is what it is. Deserving pity rather than, uh, you know, scorn.